Hello guys, Rush here with a new video. Um, because of 1.3, I decided that I'm going to delete some of my older videos and replace them with uh, new, better videos, my some updated videos. So here I am. Um, I decided to update my combination lock uh, so it's a lot more slim, more efficient, faster, and a lot more better because my other designs had some defaults. Now, I know a lot of you uh, like to watch CNB Minecraft, um, but I'm sorry to say, but a lot of this stuff is outdated old and just doesn't work as well as it should and it's kind of a shame that uh, people like me uh, don't get as much attention uh, to their videos when they post something out that is so that is really good so right here I have my combination lock I'm um, just gonna reset it make sure everything's all good now the combination is one one four two and three opens the door right after after I press the combination lock in very well or correctly I, um, I'll reset it here. Now if I put in something like 1, 1, 4, 2, and 4, nothing happens. It just automatically resets. Um, and I will explain how that works uh, in a second. Now, uh, with some combination locks, you're able to just push the buttons really fast and it will just trigger. Not with this one. You can't push the buttons really fast or spam them. Nothing happens reset it to make sure everything is reset again. Now if you noticed, um, this is a four button combination lock, but I actually inputted five um, five combinations. And uh, that's because this combination is infinitely expandable. You can have this be 30 buttons with um, uh, 100 combinations if you want it. It just depends on what you want. So very good practical design. Uh, so again, combination one, one, four, two, three. Oops, three. Doors open. Very nice. So, this is the whole entire combination lock design. I know, very small, very compact, um, a lot better than CNB's um, combination lock, which is, I think, very confusing and a little hard to understand. This is very easy to understand, and I will go over actually how you do this um, and how each part works. Okay, so let's actually get on to how you make uh, this combination lock. Okay guys, Rush here, and um, now I'm going to show you how you make the combination lock. You're going to have a kind of a template button layout like this, this being your set button, and these are going to be your four buttons or how many buttons you want. Um, you can expand this out as many as you want, and uh, yeah, so let's get started. So you're going to start by placing some torches and blocks on top of these torches, and on that blocks, you're going to place even more torches, yes. And under those torches, you're going to place pistons with, of course, blocks under these pistons. I use the gold blocks to symbolize something of more importance than just regular iron blocks as just being completely regular. Uh, so now, by making this, um, if you notice, when I click a button, that piston goes down, next piston goes down, another piston goes down when I click a button. But if I click the buttons really fast, like that, you can see that only one piston goes down, and it sends out a really fast pulse. This so makes um, this is what makes the combination lock completely order sensitive, um, and what it, and how it's used to like uh, avoid errors. So let me just time set day. Okay, so now from here you're gonna place blocks under here like that. Four blocks like this, and then torches under there. With the torches there, you're going to have repeaters that. Um, like this, set the two ticks on each repeater, and then you're going to have torches uh, on these blocks here, like that. Next, you're going to expand this out, and then you're going to place um, repeaters on here, like that. Now we have to make rows, okay? Uh, because we're going to have a four button combination lock, but we want to input five different combinations, we're going to make five different rows. So I'm going to do that really quick. Okay, I'm back now, and uh, like I said, um, we have 
four buttons with uh, and we want to input five different combinations so we put five rows one two three four five and sorry I had to turn down my render distance so I was getting a little bit too much lag for my liking okay so to select our combination we just put our torches on the golden blocks here so let's have the same con uh, combination one one four two three so this would be one right here so one one that's to select this button right here one one and then four two three okay now uh, from here we're gonna place uh, blocks on top of here have it hanging off by one and place a repeater right there and then just connect it up with redstone so I'm gonna do that really quickly okay um, now that we have this done what we're gonna do is we're gonna place pistons under here so I'm just gonna make a line right here like so we're gonna place pistons under here like that bam, bam, bam. and we're just gonna have uh, blocks right here now uh, every other one in between the pistons we're gonna place a block underneath like that and we will have like that and I'm gonna place the input to this will be right here uh, and that is because um, on every other one we'll have redstone or actually we can have this all being repeaters that should be fine and this would be our reset button this right here to reset the whole combination like that okay so now what we have here is kind of like an RS snore array uh, button combination lock type thing and actually we need to place um, repeaters in between here now when I also make tutorials I also go over the possible problems you would have uh, while you're making this so here is one problem that uh, we're gonna see in a second okay so when we click this right here if we click the first button right you can see that these two go down uh, right away which we don't want and if we click 4 right here then it also go the next one goes down 4 4 2 the next one went down and then 3 finally the other one will go down but if we have two torches here in a row these two go down and we don't want that so what we do is we set these all to 4 ticks okay and now when I reset that all goes down and now when we click one here you can see that the first line goes down and the only one goes down now uh, now as you can see every time I push the correct uh, button here it goes over the torch which goes down the line on um, how you want on it basically decodes the combination lock and puts it in sequential order which will then go through this kind of RS nor uh, rate uh, determine how um, to also decode this and make sure that it's uh, the right combination lock because uh, because it's in sequential order when this goes down um, that one will go down when this turns off like that but if I were to click the other one like this this piston will not go down right here until this goes down right here so I hope that kind of makes sense and uh, of course your output would be right here with the torch on like that so I'm just going to reset this now and I'm going to show you how to do the rest of this so now we place blocks on top of this like so uh, but before we continue on let's w actually wire up our reset button we'll do this and all you have to really do is just put a repeater right here with redstone that's basically it um, and for this part right here we want to wire up our reset button here too so um, and I'll explain this in a second so just kind of do this right here we're actually gonna set this one back here to redstone too and this can be actually this doesn't have to be redstone you can leave this as a repeater but we we want two repeaters like that and kind of have it come down like this and where we have this redstone right here we have a piston down like that okay and like that 
and then we can just wire this up right here and I will explain what this is for in a bit. Remember, like I said, this is our reset button right here. Okay, so next part for this. Uh, how does this become order sensitive? Well, it's very easy. Uh, basically how it works in here is that every time you push a button, this is a counter right here and it will count how many buttons you push because there's a total of five different buttons that you need to push to actually make the uh, to actually output and make the door open we have a counter that uh, counts to five uh, a sequential counter and what it basically does is after five attempts if this if the door doesn't open already if the output doesn't go off then it will just completely reset the whole thing which is what the counter does right here when it gets to five it resets the whole thing now um, if that you do input the combination correctly then it doesn't it, um, basically it just doesn't allow you to reset the combination lock it just um, outputs to the door and the door opens so uh, that is the part we're gonna make right now we're going to make the counter so to do that we're just going to kind of make a line right here like so like that and wherever you see a piston um, oh, I actually need to raise this up a little bit more like that Now, wherever you see a piston is where you're going to want um, another piston for the counter. So right there, that's going to be uh, in line with the, that one. So every other piston, like that. And we're just going to place a block on top of these pistons, like so. And then um, right here, we just add in a liner redstone, uh, like that. Okay, now we connect the two right here. So this would obviously go above like this and into the counter like that. We'll actually put a repeater right here and actually we'll put the repeater right here just to be safe. Okay so it's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and that should be good. Okay so uh, time set day Okay, so now what we do here is we place again um, buttons and or not buttons but repeaters in between here. First one can be set just regularly to one tick, but the other ones here can be set to two ticks, like so. We make kind of like a bridge right here, and right here is going to be our reset line. So once the counter reaches five, it will automatically reset itself. And to do that, we just add a torch here, and from right here. And then we can add redstone right here. So we need this to be set at four ticks. Yeah, four ticks. Like that. Actually, what we need to do here is we need to bring this down like so. And what we do is we have a repeater right here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and one right here. So you want a row of repeaters right here and to uh, equal a total of four ticks. That can actually be at four right here. Uh, so yeah, five right there. <clears throat> you um, Another thing is depending on how many um, buttons you have or how many combination locks, locks or a combination you have to input into the system uh, this will differ like if the more you have the longer this will need to be I think yeah um, but yeah okay so uh, now that we every time we push a button you can see that um, one piston will come up here it's kind of hard to see because I'm recording but every time I push a button here it will um, something comes up like that right and because I pushed one here that said that okay that was the first button in the combination lock so this piston will go down but because we've already pushed the uh, pushed it uh, more than five times we've already uh, we failed to input the combination correctly within five tries it just resets the whole thing as you just saw right there and now uh, for the reset button we also have to make it so it resets the combination lock and the easiest way to do that would just uh, have repeaters going into it, to it. So kind of like 
this. You can have button or up here to block the redstone from coming in like that and then a repeater right here so if we like were on a couple attempts or we know that we put in the combination incorrectly you can see that if I just push the reset button here it should reset it like that okay so that is the actually the whole entire combination lock um, right here is your output this would go into your door right here so to symbolize that I will just get out a door place it like that and um, yeah so every time I click this one so I push the correct button so that is at one and that counted one 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 four two just look at it okay and um, how it recognizes that uh, you input the combination correctly is that remember we have repeaters here that go into that piston which lead into our reset line which is right here now if we put in the combination correctly this will turn off and this piston will go upwards not and this will not allow it to reset so if I put in the the last button which is three you can see that um, it resets the whole counter which is very nice for you and it will also output right here and open up our, our door so that is how you make a simple uh, order sensitive combination lock um, this is probably one of the most this is probably as compact as it gets um, it's very very efficient a very good design you can push the buttons really fast so um, without it messing up the system one one four two three and then it opens up the door it's just a good design in uh, general okay so thanks for watching if you would like to see more redstone tutorials from me um, or like to give me feedback please post a comment subscribe and I'll see you guys later thanks for watching